Time now for First Alert Weather with meteorologist Rob Nucatola. Right, we're going to get started on that 24 hour temperature cast. Numbers starting near 80 this morning are going to quickly get up over 90. How far past 90 is going to do deal with when we're getting the showers. I do expect to find more showers today than we did yesterday. Boy, yesterday was hot for a long period of the afternoon. Got to 98 officially and it felt every bit of 110 or 112 out there in spots. I see a couple of showers up against the Taylor County coast. Not much, but it's a little something just north of Keaton Beach. We'll see where this is able to go over the next little while as it tries to drift maybe a little bit towards land. I don't expect big rains early. I don't expect big rains this afternoon, but like yesterday when we're talking about all of this very available moisture, we can certainly get a couple of decent downpours and I do expect to find more showers and more spots today. A little tiny change in the setup. Still, the overall pattern is not changing. This big ridge to our north and to our west is going to keep us bottled up in this very warm and humid air mass. So it's going to be the haphazard hit or miss scattered showers. Yesterday, that breeze that was barely light, but it was still more from the west and northwest. It pinned that sea breeze and didn't let it do its thing like it had been doing the previous couple of days. I think today it'll be a little bit more active, a little bit more able to get us some of those showers to hopefully help cool things down. Let's talk about those current numbers. 77 in Thomasville, and that's one of the cooler spots. Tallahassee and Valdosta starting off at 79. That third row, those dew point temperatures, that's what makes it feel so sticky outside. Anytime those are up over 70, it's uncomfortable. Anytime they're up over 75, it's really uncomfortable. And as they creep up closer to 80, not only is it icky sticky gross out there, but now that's very explosive air. So when we talk about showers and storms, now you can get some of those bigger ones mixed in there. So we're watching for all that today. It's 81 this morning in Mariana. It's 81 this morning in Camilla. Tifton's checking in at 80. So is Dothan, Alabama. We said the cool spots, Thomasville, Blakely, and Live Oak at 77. Normal morning temperature should be like 72 or 73. So we're running five or six or seven degrees warmer than normal. A little breeze is trying in a couple of spots. The breeze will be mostly from the south and southwest today. I haven't seen a lot of fog just yet but you do feel the air so heavy, so thick when you step outside. So some fog could form quickly in areas where the winds calm down. Not a lot going on across the southeast. There hasn't been for several days. We're pretty quiet weather pattern. It's not a real comfortable weather pattern, but it's not a real active one. I think the scattered showers will try this afternoon, two, three, four o'clock. Hopefully we start to see some same again tomorrow. Today and tomorrow both. It's a fairly similar setup and pattern to what we've been having. We'll see if the afternoon sea breezes can kick up some showers with all this warm, humid air in place. Now, as we get to Sunday, we start to change our focus a little bit more and see what's going on with all this noise in the tropics. And it doesn't feel like, at least as of now, big deal for our area. Now that absolutely can change. So please just keep checking in with us. We'll have updates as we watch the evolution of this energy that right now is just getting onto the eastern tip of Cuba. The more land it interacts with, the harder it is for this to develop. Right now I see some decent convection north of Cuba, south of Cuba, on Cuba, but it feels like the core, if there is one, as it tries to organize, is interacting with that island right now. And the longer that it stays over land, the harder it is for the this to, to develop. So for the next 24 hours or so, I don't expect a lot of rapid anything. The sooner it gets off of land, then it'll be able to start trying to turn into something. This is a version of our future cast that we tweak a little bit for the tropics, especially when something gets into this part of the world. And you see that a lot of the showers and storms and a lot of the circulation is right there along Cuba. So I think for most of today, it's going to struggle. Now, once it gets off of Cuba and gets over maybe the Florida Straits, maybe near the Keys, now is where we start to look for some changes. The way the upper level winds are situated, it's going to be really hard for this to start moving north today or maybe even tomorrow. But once it does start moving north, that will also make a huge impact to where we expect this moisture and energy to go. And at this point, we can only call it moisture and energy. It's not an organized developing system. It's still an invest, which basically means it's an area of showers and storms that we're checking out. So for at least another day, I expect it to stay like this. The sooner it gets moving north or the later it gets moving north, that'll make a huge difference in the way our forecast evolves. This it feels like a best case scenario. I'm not convinced this is going to be the one just yet, but we talk about that ridge to our north. That is going to play a role as it weakens a little bit and opens a little crack for this to start moving north. The sooner for our area, the better. We don't want to see this stay and make it all the way out into the middle of the Gulf. I don't think that's likely, 
but there's a lot of possibilities with this, and you're going to see them all over the place, all these, all these possible scenarios. Right now, nobody knows anything because we don't have anything yet. We've got an area of showers and storms on Cuba. That's what we got. Give it a day, and once it gets off of land and it starts to get over the water, now we'll be able to really start locking in and fine tuning, and that's when we'll be able to come up with a much better forecast. For the time being, the chances of development 50 50 for the next two days feels like a little less than 50 50 today because of that interaction with the land in Cuba. But I think once it gets off that land, that's when we would start to see some rapid development. That's when it looks like something may happen, and that feels like we're talking tomorrow or really late tonight. So we'll watch, we'll update. I'll have all kinds of updates for you all over the social media today and all weekend, I promise. On the Gulf today, west and southwest winds 5 to 12, seas 2 feet or less, mostly smooth in the bays. Now, the Gulf and the marine forecast is going to change a bit based on the evolution of Invest 97L. And when that happens, of course, we'll update that for you too. 70s and 80s on land this morning, really muggy. The hazy sunshine will heat things up. Hopefully we get more showers and sooner than we did yesterday. Yesterday they were just a couple of scattered ones here and there and boy was it ever hot. I think today mid 90s, hopefully not up into the upper 90s because there should be more showers. I'll leave the rain chances around 60%. Those showers will fizzle. It will stay very muggy overnight. We're going to do it all over again tomorrow just like we're doing today. Now I start to lower the temperatures Sunday, Monday, because that's when we start talking about that tropical moisture. At the very least, I think what that does, it gives us more clouds and better chances for showers. We'll see how we have to adjust the forecast. At this point, it feels like that system is gone by Tuesday, Wednesday, and that's when more hot comes back, but hopefully a little less humid. We've got time to get to all that. Please keep checking in with us, I promise. Lots of updates all weekend long.